Hi and welcome to Vicky's Precious Petals. Previously in one of my other videos I had sprayed these uh, with some Design Master. It's a clear gloss finish. It's something that um, a lot of florists use. It's a quick drying uh, so that was easy. I've just sprayed these because I have used these previously uh, and even though they're real roses um, they must have been dyed and the dye come out of the the roses so I have sprayed them and now what I'm going to do is because these are going to go uh, in a tea light candle holder I've got two here I haven't decided which one I'm using yet so I'll just put them aside and what I do want to do is I'm going to embellish them with I've got some little pearls and I thought I would just glue the pearls in the center just to give them that little bit of uplift and we'll see what happens so don't get this glue on your hands this is Loctite 401 I use it on everything I'll just grab some gloves and do not spill it I had a disaster here one day with this thing a long story. You won't go there. So, gloves on, toothpick. So I only need a tiny little drop of this product. So, just gonna rub a tiny little bit on there and then I'm going to pop oh no this in there besides the glue on probably on my fingers and I'm just going to push that down in there just to give that a little bit and I'll just let that dry and I'll do another one same deal. Just a drop of glue and another pearl. Little drop. And here we go. Got this all over my fingers. So I'll put gloves on. Okay. Now this is a really fast drying glue as well. Pop that back in there. And while I glue the rest of these, um, I'll just put you on break for a minute. Okay, I put little dabs of glue on all of those. I don't know how successful it was. Uh, but in my joy bits and pieces, um, I found some little hearts. So I've done some with hearts and some with pearls. We've got Valentine's come, Day coming up, so I thought the ones with the little hearts might be interesting. I'll just put all of those back in there. And we're going to move to the next procedure. So, that's the little hearts. Um, quite cute. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, what I thought I would do is take these little flowers one step further. And because I'm a woman in a hurry, I've got out some Let's Resin, UV resin. Um, it says hard type. I bought a little starters kit. It's not something I use all the time. I think I've used it once. Um, it says no mixing, fast curing, low odour, crystal clear. And so we'll see. Because I wanted to put... Um, these are chameleon, they're tiny little like um, shiny bits, pieces, whatever you want to call them. And I thought I would just mix a small amount in there with the resin. I don't know if it'll mix properly, you'll see. And because I only want small quantities, I've got these little pipettes. Uh, 
got mills of these. These are really small. I think they only hold about two mils or something. Very little. Um, when I was doing my chest set, I used these. That's another story. So let's see how we go. Small quantity. Just tip a small amount in. It's quite thick. I don't know if I'm better off dipping in or we'll see. Let's put that over there and decide on what colour I want. Some of them look like Christmas. I don't want to look like Christmas. This is one I just had opened. Yuck. No, not for this job. That one hasn't been opened. Last time I tried to open one of these, it hadn't been opened. It flew everywhere. Mm, it's a little bit Christmassy. What's this one? <coughs> mm, it's Christmas too. But let's give it a go. Which one will I use? I'll try this one. Put the lid back on that one. And just here. Put it in there. I don't know how much I need, but we'll see. That aside, these are all from Let's Resin as well. Got a bit excited putting an order in there one day. Mixie, mixie. Mm, might be alright. We'll give it a go. See what happens. So, UV resin, you need a UV light. You do. From what I've read, I think you can set it out in the sun. Um, but I've made a little thing here. <laughs> Very clever. We'll see. I don't know if this one might be able to do this just with this stick. I need this to sit down a bit straight up. Come on. Put up there. Come on. Give me some Betsy. Push him in a bit. I'm going to stay up straight. We'll see. There's nothing like a test run. Okay, maybe not. It's covered the pearl up. Let's go back to the little pot bit. Let's see what happens. This is all experimental for me. So I found with these little pipe beds, I don't know, I should have done it a bit slower. So I not put another one here. So don't put it in and then squeeze because you're pushing air into your resin. So this is what I do. I squeeze first and then put it in. And you will see as it's coming up the tube. It'll start to push out. It's a bit 
bit slow, but you know, nothing fast about resin. So let's see if this one works a bit better. Just want sparkles around the outside. Oh yeah, that's coming up a bit better. You probably can't see there very well. Squeeze together before you put it in. So I'll do this one like this. Uh, I'm not filling the whole thing with resin. I just want these little sparkly bits around the outside. Squeeze. I'm hoping that sinks in a little bit better. Yes, it's going down. Good. Put that in there. This one's coming up. Squeeze now gently. Squeeze together. Put it back in the cup. This could get a bit boring to watch. Come on. Next one. One of these tubes filled. Yep. And the outside we go. Put it back in the cup. So just while I do the next lot, I might just hit the stop button. You're not sitting here watching me do all this. I might do one more just so you've got the picture. So that's sucking up. This one out. And round we go. Back in the cup. And then what we do, I think I made this gap correct. It's really annoying when they don't want to play the game. Come on, just stay there. Let's see. And just hit that button and I'll put this on for 150 seconds and when I practiced with this the other day and I made a few things uh, 150 seconds wasn't quite enough so I'm sure you don't want to sit here and just watch a blue light okay these have dried I'm not overly impressed but some people like sparkles, but I think the roses have lost their integrity. But anyway, we'll motor on and just see what happens. Yeah, anyway. But what I thought I would do, because I'm not overly fussed with those roses, which I'm still going to use, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to put a tiny little drop in the middle of each of these little flowers here. I don't need much. Just so they don't fold up on me. I'm going to put them in with the roses. Come on. I just don't want the petals. Fold up, got a bit of baking paper underneath them so they don't stick to my board that I have here. Oh. That might be enough, don't need much. Again, what's the UV resin that I'm using? And I'm just going to give them a quick hit. Yeah. 
cord's not long enough. Turn it on. A bit excited. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, they're dried. Put a little bit of resin on these so the petals won't. It's old. I mean, when I put them in the resin. Now, I need to tie these so I can hang them upside down. What I have here is it's a really fine, I don't even know if you can see it. It's really fine. So if you end up with a little bit in your resin, you can't see it. Unless you've got super eyes. So I'm um, just going to pick the three that I think look the best. I'm not happy with any of them. Uh, I'll try this one. And I tie these. Well, I'll try to tie these. This is a bit painful. Now when you're doing this, you need to put several knots. Because this really fine stuff comes undone what you would not believe. And I've ended up with problems. So, while I do this, and not <laughs> get too carried away, um, I will come back when I've actually got this tied to that. Okay, now I've got three of these done. I'm just going to trim off one side. Like that. Yeah. Oh, if you can see, this is that fine. Like that. I'm just keeping the long bits to tie up. Right, now when you're putting flowers or items together or whatever, do odd numbers. It's more visually appealing. That's something I learned in floristry. So, this little object here is a, um, it's for making candles and it's a wick holder. It comes in handy on here. Or do I use a paddle pop stick? Either way. So what you need to do is work out where you want your flower to be. Or whatever else you're doing. So you don't want them sitting on the bottom. And I don't want them to clump together. So I'm going to try and tie this. This is such a painful bit of fishing line to try and tie anything with, but it's really fine. So I persist with it. I do have some thicker stuff, but you can see it in the resin. Come on, get in. Please. I think I need different glasses. Oh, come on. Play the game. Having a bit of difficulty here. I'm so damn fine, this stuff. It's like working with hair. Come on. Have I got it? Yes. Thank heavens for that. Alright, and it slides this really fine resin, which is really good. Um, not resin, this fishing line. But I do need to put a couple of knots in it because it'll just slip off, it's so thin. So once you add the resin and you're adding a little bit of weight to it, it will just undo itself. And you'll come back a couple of hours later and that's where you put it, as what I found. I've learned from my mistakes. Anybody starting out in resin, don't let a mistake put you off.
Laten we maar de heup zo doen. Stoel maar ik er dan. Oké. Okay. So, that one is relatively down. I'll get you down in a minute and see if we can't work it out. But what I will do is I'll line up all three of these flowers. Again, I'm working in odd numbers. And I'll come back, hopefully. Okay, I've got all three of these. They're all hanging at different heights. You don't want them all kind of clumped together. So you want it visually appealing. I think that's something I've learned either in floristry or horticulture or wherever I was at the time. I have several trades. Besides those two, I've got a couple of others as well. Okay, so this seems to be hanging in there nicely at the moment. So I am going to mix up some resin. Which I'm going back to the, let's move that aside for a second, the Barnes Megapore. Okay, I love this stuff. We've had a really cold change here today. It's New Year's Eve in the middle of summer. Like, seriously? And I've got a tracksuit pants and jumper on. So is my husband. So I'm just going to... Um, sit this in some hot water just to warm up because it's got quite cool here and resin doesn't like all these cold temperature changes enough to drive you insane so i'm just going to go and sit this in a bit of hot water for a minute and i'll come back okay so i know this holds 410 mils because i've worked this out previously so that means, roughly, um, this is part B. This works on weight. I have showed this previously. So I need, roughly, okay, I need about 136 mils on here. This is, so if you look at these cups, I'm working on measurements on here, but I have to work in weight. Just to make life a bit difficult. Oh, come on, go to tear. Right here. So I need roughly 136 mils. grams there. I must build some. Probably a little bit more than I need. That over there. 111 multiplied by 2, 222. And I went to school, hopefully. Lid on this one and put it at E-Row. Not get confused. Okay, I'm part A and I need 222 grams. Let's just go back a tad. Not much. Oh, come on. Only three grams. Oh, my goodness. Go back to class is good enough. Oh, wrinkles will never cease. 220 grams on the dot. Might not quite 
have enough resin. Let's see what happens. Get this out of the road. This is what I did the other day as well. One of those is way heavier than the other. I do find there's a little bit of shrinkage in this as well. This mega pour. I'm just going to stir it up. Now this is not going to quite fill it, which might work out all right. I'll just put you on pause while I do this. All right. So we've got the resin mixed up. I've got my mould. But to pour, what I'm going to do is, because this is, I can't just tip that in there like that. So I'm going to do this on a slow, and what happens if you overfill these little cups, they run backwards. This is just little coffee cups. And make a little bit. Right. Now I don't want to just plonk this in to make millions of bubbles. So I'm just doing this on the side. Okay. This will take a few of these. But I'm just trying to get it to run down the side of the mould gently. a little fuller. So I'm up to here. A little bit over halfway. And then we didn't mix up enough resin. Flowers are starting to want to float around. I'm just going to poke them under a little bit. I would have thought that that bit of resin that was already in them and adding 
the pool, a little heart, getting a few bubbles in there as well. Be nice to me. It might take a bit of playing around with as everything gets. This resin gets a little bit thicker. Look, keep going back in. I'm way short on resin. Maybe I shouldn't try to do calculations in my head anymore. A bit of old age stepping in, I think. This where we play a bit of rock and roll music because it's dead quiet in here. I think I need a bit of ACDC playing. A bit of credence. Okay. Let's move this over. And I'm just doing a bit of playing around to get these down. One's good. Two more just want to float around. They're very naughty. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that so maybe it's worked out better that I haven't poured enough resin because now I can do another pour and put the other flowers in later and I can keep playing with these as the resin thickens and try to keep them under control they're like naughty kids they're not doing what I want but I'll make them do what I want and anybody that can do with that with their kids good luck to you all right I'm only up to here that's my level at the moment, so I've still got a fair bit to go. Oh, that quarter, which will work out all right because I've still got these that I want to put in. So hopefully, I'll get these to settle down and I'll have to keep coming backwards and forwards. I'm sure you don't want to watch me into the night do that. So, for tonight. That's a good night and thank you. New Year's Eve and I wish everybody the very best for the new year. So we'll go from there. And I'm getting the battery flash again. Oh, heavens. Okay, bye. Okay, I've come in to check on these flowers to try and put them back in position. And I've got little bits and pieces floating around in there. Uh, so I'm thinking what I might do is, because I've got bits and pieces already in there, is add some sparkles so they look like they're meant to be there, which they're not. So I'm just trying to decide on what I'm going to do. I've got all sorts of sparkles here, but... I'm trying to get this in focus. I don't know if you can see down in there. This is really annoying. Um, probably because I put it in my vacuum chamber. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, let's see what I can do. Okay, I'm going to probably put some of this silver in. I don't even know where I got these from. Oh my God. I bought them when I was doing my nails. When I had time. 
So the chest, I don't even know if they're going to float or sink. So I'm just going to put a few little bits around. And see what happens. Sometimes you learn different techniques from your mistakes. Other times you don't. I do, I have learned a few different things from mistakes where I've tried to fix them. Okay, let's see if I can just spread those around a little bit. I don't know if they're going to float or sink or what they'll do. Oh, some of them are starting to slowly go down. Getting a bit tacky this too, so. Get around. So I'm just moving them around slowly. Not to create all sorts of dramas that's already going on in here. I don't need any more. Hopefully I can fix up my mistake. And I'm wondering if I should add a little bit of something that's a bit polymer as well. I might get a spoon for this job. just tip directly open sesame so I don't want to get heaps of them all in the one spot start to sink. I might have success yet. Let's see. Doesn't look like a Christmas decoration when I finished. Christmas is over. I'd be right for next year though. <laughs> Planning ahead, it's called. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. Sometimes more is less. And I'll just see. How it comes out later. I still gotta do a little touch up and check my mess skills. They seem to be lacking a bit lately. Bits of resin everywhere. Back in the center. Oh no. We've all floated together. Come on. Why would you do that? This is worse than trying to train my dogs to come. Right. 
stop fighting together. I'm talking to them. They're not listening. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how it comes out of the mould. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alrighty, um, this is now set, cured from yesterday and all the little sparkles with most of them have dropped to the top down here and it's time to get rid of the fishing line just get in here with my nail scissors and cutting it off it's really really fine this stuff painful to work with actually but it's really hard to see in there so if I just pour more resin into this now what will happen is I'll have this line I'm going to get this line anyway that's here um, and so it's just there and then it might look even odder so what I'm going to do this down needs a bit of a trim trim it down to here come on out is I need to add something so it looks like that's how I wanted it I thought I might put a bit of this moss around. It wants to spring up this stuff. It's really hard to. Oh, if you put this in your turtle or some sort of sea scene, oh my god, it's beautiful. It looks awesome. So I'm just going to put this in here. Like this. So it looks like it's meant to be there. It does want to float this stuff because it's really light. And we've already got some resin mixed. Don't put too much in the cup. Look at that. And I'm just going to tip some in. And I hope this doesn't float on me. We've got Valentine's coming up. So I'm trying to do, honestly, guys don't think, out of the, think outside the square. Um, comes Valentine's Day now and you flower their nose roses. Although I do, in saying that, I do have a couple of really nice clients who will come in and pick a vase or a container for their girlfriends or wife and um, they'll give me a list of actually what they want in it which is really good I love it I, I like to see men that will get in and do that sort of thing or women so I'm not prejudiced I'll just get this in here Slowly, slowly. So you can probably see that, but this is my line. This is what I'm up to. I need a little bit more. I'm 
not in there. Sometimes more is less. But we'll just see. Just add a few more bits. I like these little things too because I can mix little cups of resin with them, push my things around with them, get little small amounts, quantities out of, you know, your sparkles and whatever that you're doing. I just buy them at the supermarket. Right. And I just clean them. Until they start to look yucky, I've got a few more laying over there. So, gently, gently. We're getting there slowly. Okay. So, this is now filled to here. And I think I'm just going to leave it. I can see a few bubbles coming up. And that's going to be a pain to get. I'll just wait. And see how many bubbles come up. And hopefully I can give them a zap. Without setting fire to everything else. Let's get down. I might have to, I'll keep an eye on this because I've got to do another project. I've got a couple of things here sitting on the table on the go. Got to be able to multi-skill. I think women are good at it. I <laughs> there's no men watching this channel at the moment. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that because I've got to keep an eye on it. I've just got to keep pressing... Um, the moss down because it keeps wanting to float to the top, which I thought it would do, and we'll come back for the unmolding of it. Hi, we're back. It's been 24 hours since I did the last pour in here. Does feel quite firm, so I'm hoping that it is set properly. Um, if you've ever taken something out of a mould where you think it's set and it's all tacky, you'll know exactly what I mean. Now I do have, I'm going to have to do a bit of sanding here, because on the bottom, where the moss hasn't gone under, it's all kind of rough. So I don't know about the rest of this, but I'm not, in, I'm not a fan of sanding. I do it, because I have to. I'm going to try and break the mould here, all the way around, get a bit of air in there, watch I don't scrape my knuckles on these rough bits, I might have to squirt just a bit of um, alcohol down there to help me get this out. What I'm going to try and do is pull this down over here so you can see the issue. I usually find if you roll them back, it comes out easier. But I'm just going to keep doing this until I get uh, break the seal on here. You can see where it's starting to break slightly. And it's kind of nothing to push on. Some of them have some little legs on them and you can kind of push down. It helps break the seal. So I'm going to squirt... In here, I've just got it in a little squirty bottle, um, some alcohol, and I'm not a fan of putting alcohol into my moulds either. It tends to make them a bit dull if you keep doing it. I'm just going to have to on this to get it out. It's starting to work its way down. It's starting to make things slippery. And so 
now you can see that it's all moving away. Let's see if it'll roll without taking my knuckles off. I might just switch it <laughs> I'm just pushing this as hard as I can here. I've had worse. Come on. You can do it. I can see it breaking. Come on, keep going. Ah, got it. Okay. Oh, as I thought, all the glitter that I put in there has dropped down here. Anyway, the bottom of it doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty happy with the roses in there now. They don't look too bad at all. The reason I added that glitter, remember there was a bit of colour and little flaky bits had come off the roses and so I could make it look like it was meant to, I added some glitter. But it's all sunken. But there are a few glittery bits in there. I like the moss, moss on the bottom. This rose here looks like it's seated back in there. I've got a bad habit of not looking at the focus on the camera. Um, so it's down the bottom. So it doesn't look too bad. Except for this. But anyway, it's a lesson learned. But you can see um, there are a few uh, flaky bits in there. But most people won't know because they'll just think it's part of the glitter that I added. But it's a shame that that happened. Um, all in the one spot. And I need to do some sanding, which I will do. And little bits to do, just feel maybe a little bit tacky. So I might just leave it not sand yet. So once you start the sand, if it's um, not quite there, um, it turns into a really hard, difficult job. And I'm not sure, maybe I can just burn those little bits off. We'll see. I will try. But that is a tea light candle holder with preserved roses um, that have been dyed um, with some little embellishment in them, some little bits of sparkle in there, and the moss on the bottom. Okay, you guys have a nice day. Thank you for watching.